my gosh, Amira's coronation! She's gonna be queen! Why is it? Samaria just keeps walking. Samaria, why are trying to- Bellatrix trying to be really sweet and ask you to be her girlfriend, come back! Hey rainbows and welcome back to another episode of the royal family. This episode is going to be super fun because it's Amira's coronation day and I'm so so excited for this. So if you're excited for this video make sure you hit that like button. Before we begin I do have a few quick things to address so I know you guys probably are hearing about this everywhere and don't want to hear about the coronavirus right now but I promise this is relevant and it will just be really really quick. Because of this whole thing I did lose my job um, and I actually found that out the day before my birthday, which kind of sucked, but that does affect where we're living because my boyfriend Jake and I might have to figure out our living situation. So you guys might see some environment changes. So just wanted to let you guys know that there might just be a few changes during like this transition period. I do always try to look on the bright side of things. And the bright side of this is that I have more time now to just focus on my channel and focus on my videos and you guys in general. I don't know, I went from like having no time at all to having all the time in the world. So, I mean, we still have to wait until after this transition period just to figure out what we're going to be doing. But yeah, most likely I'm gonna have more time. I will also probably start streaming on Twitch and that way you guys can see me do some behind the scenes stuff in my videos, like marrying off some of the nobles and like having kids and like renovating palaces and like the outfits and all that stuff too. So as soon as I get that started up, I will let you know. I am happy about the fact that I can focus on you guys and my videos and I am going to try my hardest to just stay positive and keep my videos entertaining for you guys because I know this is a rough time and I just hope you guys are all being safe and I just hope that everyone is doing okay. But anyway, as I mentioned, it is Amira's coronation day. It is like dusk right now. Like the moon is going down, the sun is coming up. It's very early in the morning and Amira is about to be coronated. So this is so cool and so exciting. This is the Windenburg Abbey. So we've never been here before. I downloaded this from the gallery. It was not called the Windenburg Al or Abbey before. I forgot what it was called, but it was made to be a wedding venue before. But now I have changed it for the coronation. So you guys can check out my gallery. My gallery ID is the real mirror ray. You can look at that in the description below, or you can look up the hashtag mirror ray royals. You do have to make sure the include custom content box is on. Uh, you know what? I will know. Actually, I'm gonna try to upload a version that has no custom content for you guys, so I will do that. But this is just a huge deal, you guys. I'm so excited for her coronation ceremony. So it is very early in the morning, so people are still arriving. But you guys are going to see the coronation animation that I'm going to be using. I used for King Johan of Brindleton Bay's animation, or coronation, oh gosh, they both rhyme, they sound the same. But that was made by Fandom Angel, or her actual real name is Ashley, and she is in my Discord group, one of my patrons and moderators. I don't think she's uploaded the animation yet, so I will put the link to her Tumblr in the description below. So as soon as she does upload it, I will let you guys know. And then the crown that you guys will see is made by Bats from Westeros, so I'll be sure to include that as well. And then the recolor is made by It's Krista Bro. So I will put all the links to their information in the description below. I just wanna thank all of them because without them, this coronation ceremony would not be happening and it would not look this cool. So just thank you guys so, so much. All right. We are now starting Amira's coronation ceremony. I just have like in my head from Frozen, like it's coronation day stuck in my head. And then the first time in forever starts playing. So after the coronation ceremony, we are going to be doing a after party at the Windenburg Palace, which is gonna be fun. And then we're gonna get to pay attention to some of the teenagers as well. So it'll be a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, oh my gosh, Amira. Oh, she's queen now. Oh my gosh, Amira's coronation. She's gonna be queen. She is queen. She's queen of Windenburg. This is crazy. Crazy. This is insane. I feel like her whole family is just like really happy for her and really proud of her too. I wish that her father and mother could see her. Oh my God. Why is that making me want to cry? That's making me want to cry so much just thinking about that. Okay, so Amira is now the queen. This is such a huge thing and it takes so much preparation and it goes by so, so quickly. But she's now the queen. Amira is the queen. Amira is the queen. Oh gosh, okay. <gasps> Guys, this just makes me so happy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to have the after party 
for Amir's coronation ceremony. So it's a, I guess a coronation ball? I don't really know. I also forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, some time has passed since the last episode. So it's been a couple weeks since the last episode and therefore it's been a few months since King Henry has passed away. So the family is now out of mourning. Obviously they're still sad about it, but they have stopped wearing black. Amira is wearing brighter colors now and that is because if you did see the last episode, you saw that something happened that was kind of important and impactful on Amira's life. So she went and asked Jabari or told Jabari that she needed help and that she wanted to see someone to just help her through things, especially since her brother Charles was going to see a counselor too. So she, I feel like Amira had talked to Charles about that as well and just asked if he felt like it was helpful. I think that kind of motivated her to actually go see someone as well. Amira's feeling very confident, you guys. She's feeling very confident. She's doing better. I mean, this is her coronation day. I feel like there's a lot of adrenaline in her right now and she is just feeling very confident, which is good because that's like one thing that she's been struggling with is her confidence. And I will kind of talk through things too as this party is going on. Also, if you guys have not seen this dress and this dress is by bats from westeros and it's from his princess margaret pack and oh my gosh would you look at this dress it's gorgeous but yeah definitely make sure you go check that out because they oh my gosh i am in love with those dresses okay and i was going to show you the brand new portrait that i had made of amira but what the heck is happening to my portrait right now this this has happened before so i'm not too worried i remember the first time this happened to me i was like oh my god i've lost like all my work but it should come back soon at some point We'll see. I did a really good portrait of Amira and then I still need to do one of Prince Jabari as well. So I'll make sure to do that soon, but hopefully these all come back soon. But I think some of our guests have arrived. So we have like Naya here and Kimberly. We have Diana, of course Evangeline because they're in our household. Oh, okay. So yeah, we have Kimberly and then yeah, Naya is here. I'm pretty sure Arya and Aisha are here somewhere too. Oh yeah, there's Aisha. Okay. So if you guys saw the last episode, you saw that Aisha is still see- Oh, there's Samaria. Oh, I want Bellatrix to go talk to Samaria. But you guys saw that, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you guys saw that Aisha is still seeing Lord Maxwell, even though her cousin Rosalind is dating him. I do think that Arya and Kimberly confronted, oh, there's Arya. She confronted Aisha about it and they just told her like, you can't do that. You can't do that to our cousin. Like you're going to cause a huge scandal and you're gonna hurt her feelings if she finds out and all this stuff. And I kind of feel like Aisha was just like, mind your own business, like this is not a big deal and it'll be fine. And just, yeah, like mind your own business. So I feel like Arya and Kimberly like know what kind of scandal this is gonna cause if it gets out. And they also don't want to hurt their cousin, Rosalind. So I think that they're gonna tell Naya and Philip about it. They're gonna tell their parents. So we'll definitely focus on them in the next episode. That'll be a big thing. Oh, and then we have Kellen here. Oh, so Kellen and and Megan, if you guys can see them. I met William should be here too. So should Megan. But they are now going to be going on their big long trip with William. They're gonna actually bring their son this time. But they're gonna bring William with them for the first time. So they're gonna be gone for a while. They're going on their charity trip. So they'll be doing that like tomorrow. So it's Sunday now. So tomorrow they're leaving. They just wanted to stay, of course, for Amira's coronation ceremony and the after party, of course. And then we have Bellatrix and Samaria here, you guys. Samaria and Makana have gotten their tattoos now. So I mentioned that when they were turning into teenagers that they would be getting it soon, but it's actually been a while. So they now both have their tattoos. I think I'm gonna give another one to Samaria too. And Makana also has a few, but I did realize that Samaria and Bellatrix are not officially dating yet. So I think that now that this whole mourning period is, oh, okay, she's leaving. But I think that now that the Windenberg family is out of mourning, I think that Bellatrix feels comfortable talking to Samaria Maria now and saying like, thank you so much for like being there for me. Like when I was going through a lot and that they like, she wants to date her officially and that they can be officially dating and exclusive. Why is it? Samaria just keeps walking. Samaria, why well, trying to, Bellatrix trying to be really sweet and ask you to be her girlfriend, come back. Okay, now she's asking her and I really hope Samaria doesn't walk away. 
Oh, yay! <gasps> yay, you guys! Samaria and Bellatrix are officially dating. So I also want to do that with Kimberly and Makana, too. I think we're going to go to them soon. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here that we need to address. Oh, here is Lady Ariana. This, or Princess Ariana. Technically, her and William are prince and princesses because their parents are both princesses and princes. So they could have the option to have that as their title if they wanted to. I've just been calling them like Lord William and Lady Ariana. It's just easier for me to remember that like the family living in the household like directly from the king and queen are the prince and princesses, but I'll call them prince and princesses too. So this is Princess Ariana, even though her name is probably gonna say Lady Ariana. I'll call them both, it's not that big of a deal. But anyway, this is Princess Ariana. I know we haven't seen her that much, so I do wanna hang out with her a little bit more. I'm trying to think of like who she might be good with. Her and Prince Charles, I think are too closely related. But yeah, we'll find someone. She's super sweet. She's a little bit like preppy. She's an only child, so she is like a little bit spoiled, but she's still so cute, you guys. I love her, she's so cute. And then we have Princess Alice May here, who's feeling angry. Why are you feeling angry? Oh no, she's tired of stories. Look how cute she looks when she's angry. Is her eyebrows, are they red? What is going on with your eyebrows, Alice May? Um, I need to fix those. There keeps being this thing that it keeps like glitching because at first she would keep getting blonde eyebrows and now they're red and I don't know why. But Alice May, I feel like also is a little bit spoiled because she is an only child. Also because Jabari spoils her so much. Like Jabari loves his daughter and he kind of spoils the crap out of her. They will be having another baby soon though. I do feel like Alice May has been asking for a little, I feel like she's been asking, I don't know. This is what I did when I was a kid. I asked for a little sister specifically. So I'm just gonna say Alice May is doing that too. But Amira and Jabari, they just need to get settled in with Amira being the queen. Look how beautiful she is. She's the queen. And then they'll have another baby. So they'll have two at the most. Oh, and she can talk to Kellen too. Kellen's here. They can talk before he leaves on his long trip. I think one other thing I wanted to address too is because I remember in the last episode, Diana had asked Prince Adric to come over and hang out. And they are pretty good friends. I kind of feel like, well, like I think it'd be really cute if Adric had a crush on her but then like Diana is still caught up with her crush on Makai. I don't know, he liked Genevieve though, but he didn't seem that into Genevieve. I wasn't 100% sure, so maybe because he likes Diana. But yeah, I think that's everything here. Our portraits are still all black and kind of terrifying. Like, I don't know what's going on here. I need to clear out my mods folder. Oh, can you guys let me know? Because I feel like when I, I, I invited like 30 people to this party, but they did not show up. Are you guys having an issue where not everyone is showing up to your parties too? Because it could just be my mod, but I want to know if everyone else is having that issue as well. Yeah, if you guys could let me know in the comments, that would be great so I could figure it out because that's bothering me and I feel like it kind of affects things with the story. Like we used to have such a full house when we would have big parties and I miss that. So yeah, let me know. Okay, but now I'm going to end this party. Amira is now the queen. This was her coronation day and it was a lot of fun. She has been doing better since the last episode. So I'm just really glad and that she's working through things really well and her and Jabari are actually doing pretty well. Some people pointed out that because of what happened in the last episode, Jabari might be developing some insecurities, which would be very true, especially since Zara cheated on him when they were engaged. So this might just be like an insecurity that has developed. Jabari is pretty confident though. Obviously like what happened with Zara affected things a little bit and he took a little bit of time to recover from that. So I feel like the whole thing with Amira is kind of bugging him a little bit too, but I think he's trying to see how she saw it of like how Makai, she just, it was like someone familiar and that's just what she needed. And she had tried to go to Jabari for that comfort before. Oh, you know what? I'm actually gonna play from Kimberly's point of view. And then we're going to have her go to the Sulani royal family. But yeah, so there is that whole thing with Amira and Jabari. So we'll see how that plays out too. Another thing is with Azara, she's still trying to get a hold of King Cayman. We'll focus on her in a few, in like very soon. But yeah, I think King Cayman had just cut her out after they had that one night because he felt so guilty. So he hasn't actually talked to her in like over nine months. And now Azar is trying to tell him like, hey, you have a daughter, but she's not able to get a hold of him. Like every time she like calls the palace or tries to go to the palace, it's pretty heavily guarded. And all the guards are like, no, you're not allowed to come in. So we'll see Azara in the future. And then with Araminta, so she didn't come to the coronation ceremony. She was going to, but then of course the whole thing with her father, 
there's just, as I mentioned in the last episode, there's like investigators and police and like just, it's so crazy at the Glimmerbrook Palace right now. She just was not able to come. Also, I think she was trying to keep her distance from Charles cause she has heard her and Bellatrix talk a little bit. So she has heard from Bellatrix that like Charles is doing better, but he still misses her. So I think Araminta just out of respect to like help him get through things too. And to help her too. I think she's more over it than Charles is though. Just because she just got so angry at him at the debutante ball. But yeah, so they're still dealing with that whole thing. Some people were saying that Kentaro, which is Empress Mei Lin's, the guy she was having the affair with, they were saying that they think, oh, hey, look, it's Leilana's grandmother who's still alive. But yeah, some people were saying Kentaro was the one, that they think that's the one that killed Emperor Zhao. But first of all, him and Emperor Zhao were friends. Also, like, they wouldn't have been able to be, like, they can't be together at all now because it would look so suspicious. And I think they would have known that too. So so he was not the killer. Some people were saying that Takashi's the killer. He's not, he's not the killer. But we'll find out who exactly the killer is very soon, I promise. By the way, one of my patrons, Cassidy, she made these screedies of Anya and they're amazing. And she started playing the Queen of Mean from one of the Descendants movies with it. And we were like, oh my gosh, that is Anya's theme song. So if you guys wanna understand Anya better, she does, she has more depth. People were saying that like, she's just gotta be more than just evil and manipulative, but she is evil and manipulative, but she has reasons for that. So if you guys want to understand her a little bit better, you can listen to Queen of Mean from one of the Descendants movie. I think it's like the third one or the second one, I don't remember. But yeah, we will definitely come back to them and that whole story very, very soon as well. So Kimberly is now here at the Sulani Royal Palace and she's here because she asked Makana like, hey, can I come over? I want to talk to you. I kind of feel like Makana's like, is she going to say that she doesn't want to see me anymore? Like, why does she want to come over all of a sudden? And I think it's it's because, so I did this thing on Instagram where I said that you guys can make assumptions about, oh, she kissed him on the cheek. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, that's Makata's tattoos. Oh, and she's telling him a secret now too. I feel like, yeah, let's go ask him to stargaze. So I said that you guys can make assumption about my Sims. And then one person said that they feel like Kimberly would be the one to ask out Makana. And I feel like that's very true because Kimberly is very straightforward. She is very laid back, but she just kind of like tells it like it is. And I think she's tired of waiting for Makata to ask her out because they've been seeing each other for a while and Kimberly really, really likes him. So I think she's telling him that like, hey, like he seems like he wants to take things slow, which Makata did. But I think Kimberly's telling him, I like you and I don't wanna, I'm not interested in seeing anybody else because their romantic relationship is so high. So yeah, Kimberly is kind of tired of waiting. So she's gonna ask him to be her boyfriend. I think this is actually kind of cute. Samaria and Makata, they're twins and they're both like officially dating their significant others at this, like on the same day, which I think is really cute. But yeah, guys, they are officially dating. Prince Makana just became the boyfriend of Princess Kimmy. And Kimberly's feeling very happy too. They're so cute, you guys. I'm gonna have her kiss them. I, there's still the glitch going on where Makana is not, or like, I don't think any of them are turning into mermaids and I don't understand why. Yeah, I just think it's really cute that Kimberly like called him and said that she wanted to come over and it's pretty late at night just to tell him all this and just to ask him out. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, Of course, Makana, or Makai, oh gosh, Makai, after the last episode, he has moved back in with his brother and his father, so he's helping take care of his father now. They only really needed like his brother to take care of their father because Makai was gonna go back to work, but then he quit because of what happened after the last episode. So he's home, he's getting over Amira. It's hard for him, but now he's completely away from her. So I think it is going to be easier for him, but it's just gonna take time. So we'll focus on him in another episode as well. But yes, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. Let me know what you guys think of Aisha and Arya and Kimberly's whole situation with like telling their parents, cause we're gonna see that in the next episode. Let me know what you guys think of Kimberly and Makana and Samaria and Bellatrix and Amira now that she's queen. It's just so, so exciting. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!